The Shulchan Aruch says that this inyan, this, this problem, this, uh, this sin, Hayadua, the Shulchan Aruch says something very scary. He says, This is the most severe sin in the Torah. This is the Lashon of the Shulchan Aruch. In Emel Ha'ezer, Siman Chav Gimel. He says it's a very severe sin. A person has to be, uh, has to try as much as he can to break away from, from, from the, the, the immorality that surrounds him. The Zohar HaKadosh says that there is almost no Teshuvah for this sin. In another place it says that there is a Teshuvah. And in Davar Sheomed Bifnei Aratzon, there is nothing that stands uh, Bifnei Aratzon in front of a person's will. If a person wants to be good, he wants to be holy, Hashem will help him. Bederech Shadam Rotzei Lelech Molechin Oto. So, what do we do? What does this mean for us? We know that there are four, uh, four ways, four steps in doing Teshuvah. The first is Azivat Achet, is to leave the sin. I know this is not the typical topic that one speaks about, but uh, it's Kedai, I feel. I was going to speak about Parashat Shavua, but it's Kedai to be Meorer a little bit in, in the Inyane Kedusha, to grow a little bit, and, uh, to, to, to be Meorer a person, maybe to be careful in what one sees, as we'll talk about soon. So the first step is Azivat Achet, is to let the sin go. To, t- to, to regret the sin, to do vidui, to confess the sin, and to accept upon oneself, not to return. But today, I came to reveal to you, Sigulah le Parnassah. I know that a lot of times in the shul, guys come and they say, No, Rav, Sigulah le Parnassah, Sigulah le Parnassah, how do I do it, how do I do it? We have to know that it's connected to this inyan of the Brit Kodesh. It's not coincidental that Yosef HaTzadik, who HaMashbir, he was the one who used to sustain the whole Eretz Mitzrayim. It's not coincidental that he was the one who was Omed Bani Sayon in this area. You gotta know that when a person he messes up in this area, as the Gemara says, he creates Shedin Meruchin, and these become his spiritual children, so to speak, and they demand child support. They demand child support. They wanna, they sit on the, on the top of your pipe, and they suck all your Shefa away. So how do you fix it? So the Arizal reveals something nice. He says, the way you fix this sin, you get these spirits back, is by doing Kriyat Shema Sha'al Amita. It's by saying Shema before a person sleeps. The Gemara in Barachot says, The Gemara in Barachot says, Amar Rabbi Yitzchak, Rabbi Yitzchak, Kol HaKriyat Kriyat Shema Amitato, anybody who reads Kriyat Shema before he goes to sleep, Kiilu Ochez Cherev Shel Shte Piyot, Biyado, it's as if he's holding a double-edged sword in his hand. And he, he basically could kill the mazikin. That's what the Gemara says. How do we know? There's a pasuk. Ya'alezu chasidim b'chavod. The chasidim, they will rejoice in honor. Yiranu al mishkivotam. They will sing when they're sleeping. Romemot el bigronam cherev pifiot biadam. Romemot el bigronam. The exaltations of Hashem are in their throats. The cherev pifiot biadam. And the sword, a double-edged sword is in their hand. When you say Shema Yisrael before you go to sleep, you have to know there's a double-edged sword that could kill these mazikin that you created. Our rabbis teach that you have a potential of killing 1,125 mazikin. That's if you're a strong man, Gavrat Abba. You have Kavanah, you say it with intent, with fervor, with concentration. Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu. You can kill these mazikin. This is a tremendous inyan. You know there's a Rav... He was approached by a certain man, a certain businessman. He was very big in real estate. And he said, every transaction I make, right before closing, it falls through. I want to buy something. We settle on a price. We're right about to close and slips away. I want to sell a certain property. We're right about to close, slips away over and over. It keeps slipping away. So he went with this Rav to a Rav in Eretz Yisrael, to a holy Mekubal, a holy Rav. And he went to see him. And the Rav says to him, I don't understand. You're a married man. He says, you're a married man, but something doesn't make sense. He says, in this inyan you're lacking, something's wrong, he says. Your kiddushah, it's, it's not supposed to be this way. He says, something's lacking. He says, you should start saying, Kriyat Shema Shalamita. Before you go to sleep with Kavanah. And so he's, that's what he started doing. He started saying, Kriyat Shema Shalamita. And he says, the first few days I tried to do it, I felt that the, you know, I was getting tired all of a sudden. It was very difficult for me. The Yetzirah does not like it. He bothers you. He doesn't want it. He says, eight in ten minutes, eight in ten minutes. Okay, and you fall asleep. He says, when I started doing this, I felt a, a great opposition. But I continued. He says, and before you know it, business was booming better than ever. I was making sales, I was making buys. Tremendous success. Baruch Hashem. How? Sigulara parnasa. Kriyat Shema. Shealamita. This is what the Ari reveals to us. 
בגמרא... או. Oh. And the Gemara continues, ואמר רבי יצחק, כל הקורא קריאת שמע על מיתתו, מזיקין בדלין המנו. anybody who says קריאת שמע שעל המיתה, the Gemara says מפורש, מזיקין, מזיקין, the damaging angels, בדלין המנו. They're בדל, they leave him, they leave him be. So this is an inyan that we should all take seriously, especially in the days of Shavavim, all year round, to say קריאת שמע שעל המיתה. It's preferable to do this before חצות לילה, if one can. חכם עובדיה יוסף, he says, one should do this with שם ומלכות. You know, he proves in many, 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 many sources that it should be done b'shem u'malchut. And even the Ben Yishchai who said that he personally wouldn't do it b'shem u'malchut for chashashot. But even the Ben Yishchai says in the name of the Ari that it should be done b'shem u'malchut with Hashem's name, Atah Hashem Elokeinu. If one goes to sleep after chatzot, there's a machloket in the poskim. That's not what we're here to do. Some poskim say you can do it. If I remember correctly, Chacham David Yosef says you can still do it b'shem u'malchut. Others... Yaskil Avdi, etc., the Kafa Haim, they say that after Chatzot, one should say it without, Shem Malchut. But this is a tremendous advice that one can take in these days, and you'll see that the Parnasat starts to increase, and you'll see that you get a better quality life, and we fix the sin that we went to Eretz Mitzrayim for. 210 years we were, we were in Egypt. Why? For this sin. This is what it was. And we get to fix it how? By saying, Kriyat Shema Shalamita. You've just experienced another Torah class, brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.